there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. Of course, everyone's wondering about the ice chances. TxDOT is pre-treating elevated roads overnight tonight into Friday morning as a precaution. Keep in mind, elevated roads freeze first, so that is a possibility. We'll see a light round of precipitation pushing through overnight, probably in the form of light rain, but there could be a little bit of sleet and or freezing rain mixed in as well. Here's more in tonight's Chicks Chat. Possibility does exist for a couple of spotty showers to push through during the overnight. Temperatures in the mid 30s as I'm taping this, and so initially everything should be in liquid form. There is the slight possibility, even though it's not shown here on Future Track, of maybe first thing in the morning still having a couple of showers that might mix in with a little bit of sleet and/or freezing rain. Noontime just cloudy. I have a very small chance of any showers thereafter. So we'll probably be in quite a lull as we head through Friday night. And then heading into Saturday, you'll notice some precipitation down south of San Antonio, just south of our viewing area. As we work our way into Saturday morning, here's when the biggest chance will be of seeing any winter weather impacts in the form of freezing rain. Kerrville, Fredericksburg, Johnson City pulling in by around 8 a.m. Notice the Austin area at this point not terribly impacted by the possibilities of the ice if future track is right. Keep in mind if this moves up a little bit farther farther north, if it's a little bit colder for longer, that may change, but maybe not too bad as far as the outcome. Then as we push toward the uh, afternoon hours, most areas with the exception of the hill country will probably be above the freezing point, so the worst over. Again, lingering ice patch is not out of the question in the hill country where it may be really close to freezing throughout much of the day. And then the last opportunity for some shower activity will come Saturday night into Sunday morning, which at this point, the majority of the area should be above freezing. If anyone sees any icing, it'll probably be again into the hill country. Then on Sunday, those showers push off toward the east and we're done with the threats of wintry weather altogether. Future track showing possible precipitation, about a third of an inch in Austin, about a half an inch toward Fredericksburg. Again, most of this will fall in liquid form as opposed to ice, which is a good thing. Friday planner, I've gotten in that possibility of some ice first thing in the morning, probably not gonna be a big impact. Then by noon, we're 34, maybe just a stray shower and dry thereafter, high temperature of 36 degrees. Seven day forecast, here we go, 30s the next couple of days, flirting with possibilities of ice. Then once we get toward Sunday morning, we're 33 in Austin, high temperatures moving into the 40s. We're in the 50s Monday.